enough to leave you hungry for more. The Sporkful has been named the best food podcast of 2024 and won two prestigious James Beard Awards. Those are like the Academy Awards of the food world, if you don't know. But here's what's so awesome. The host is not a professional chef. Food lover Dan Pashman has been leading culinary conversations on his podcast for 14 years, but he made headlines in 2021 for actually inventing a new pasta shape. That is now a favorite of pasta lovers around the world because of its ability, you see there, to hold the sauce. All right, his journey to create the perfect pasta turned into a three-year saga he documented on The Sporkful in a series he calls Mission Impossible. Take a listen. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Spaghetti sucks. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I said it. It's round on the outside. That means that it's a low surface area in relation to the volume. That means that sauce doesn't adhere to it well. It means less of it contacts your teeth when you first bite it. It's like, you know, there's all this romanticism around spaghetti, but spaghetti and meatballs isn't even an Italian thing. <laughs> On this journey, you said, like, spaghetti's not even an Italian thing. Spaghetti and meatballs is not no, an Italian but, thing. Yeah. And spaghetti is, but it's but, just, like, it's not that great. Right. I, I agree. I Thank agree. you, Tam. Unless you're doing that movie where they, the little dog kisses. Yeah. The well, but, Lady but, and the Tramp. I don't know why else spaghetti around. That movie should have charged us that spaghetti is a pasta shape that's only fit for dogs. <laughs> Kissing. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> tell me about the PB and J technique debate. Yeah, so look, it's a little controversial, but I like to do jelly on both sides. That way the peanut butter doesn't get stuck to the roof. That, that gentleman I understands. Like that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah. What's so controversial about that? People That's say it's going to tear the bread or something. It's like, use better bread. I okay? know, right? Yeah. Oh my God. So this pasta shape that you created, you've been documenting all of this. I mean, you've got huge accolades. I love the title of that, the po Mission Impossible. Right. But I, I didn't know you could invent another pasta the shape. Yeah, and not, no one had done it in a while, but I, I, I was dissatisfied with a lot of the shapes out there, and I decided to invent cascatelli, especially designed cascatelli. to hold it. Cascatelli. Cascatelli. Yeah. Yes. It's, a, it's Italian for waterfalls. I love this. Um, and it's now in stores around the country. Yes. And uh, the sauce goes in between the two ruffles, which we'll see shortly, and it yeah. holds tons of sauce. It also has all different kinds of textures, which I think are especially delicious. I love that you're not a chef, but you're an eater like me. Even though I have a cookbook that's coming out in September, it's a love letter to my father, who was a great cook, and I learned to cook, but I am an eater. Right. Yeah, that's well, it. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that, that's the motto of my podcast, yeah. The Sporkful. It's not for foodies, it's for eaters. It's for eaters. Yeah. So this is your unique pasta shape, and, and this recipe here was inspired by... That's right. So, so I, have an, I have a new cookbook yeah. out. So I, I, when Cascatelli came out, everyone's sending me pictures of what they're making with it. Yeah. And overwhelmingly, I saw tomato sauce, meat sauce, mac and cheese. Mm. The same old, same old. Mm. And I, I decided to make a cookbook that was going to show people there's so much more that you can and should be putting on your pasta. This pesto is so good. This is a spicy, spicy broccoli rob pesto. Mm. Yes. Broccoli and, you know, rob. And, and you see, in, in the cascatelli pasta shape, you see how well it holds that sauce. Let me tell but you. But this also shows you there's so many more pestos out there. The Genovese pesto, yeah. we all know, is not the only one. Pesto just means pounded. My cookbook has a formula that will show you how to take almost any combination of greens, cheeses, and nuts and turn right. it into a Pesto. Okay, and this is a kimchi carbonara. Carbonara is my favorite. Yes. Favorite. It, it, I could eat carbonara every day. Uh, same, same. But this is kimchi, kimchi carbonara. Kimchi carbonara, I never had it. You saute the kimchi in the pan a little bit. It softens it a little. It mm -hmm. takes a little bit of the spice away, but you still keep some of the spice. You get the rich creaminess of the raw beaten eggs. You get the guanciale in there. It's a You've ruined Italian my dish. relationship, though, with spaghetti. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I hear you. I, I hear mean, you. Okay. It works in this dish. It works in this dish. You get a little bit of spice, but not too much. Mm. I, I, I think it's phenomenal. Nice and smoky. Yeah. I can't talk. I'll take, I'll take it from here, Tamron. You... <laughs> so this is a dish that I invented good. from my cookbook. This came to me in a vision while I was driving. It's called pasta pizza. Oh. This is a pizza where the crust is made of pasta. Oh, my God. And it's in the cookbook? It's in the cookbook. Guess what? That's right. Dan's book is phenomenal. Episodes of The Sporkful. Listen to where you get your podcast. Head to his website to get more information on how you can see Dan live on his podcast tour. He mentioned this great recipe. Go ahead, you bite, because I'm going to read this. Guess what? The new book cookbook is called Anything's Possible, 81 Inventive Pasta Recipes for Saucy People. Get it where books are sold. But guess what, audience? You're saucy. You're getting it. Happy. <laughs>